hi guys welcome back to my channel and for those that are new here welcome thank you guys for watching and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also the notification bell okay so you can see my new videos so my name is Dumi and I'm a mom of two amazing little boys and I normally do videos about mom life lifestyle and beauty so if you want to see more of that hit the subscribe button okay let's get to it <laughs> So my family and I recently had an amazing experience at the Hard to Be a Sports um, Monkey and Elephant Sanctuary and we got to experience, we got to have a really great experience with the elephants and also saw some monkeys as well. It was a really really nice um, outing for family and something I definitely have ticked off my bucket list. I've always wanted to do something like this so I was so excited to ever have an opportunity to do it. So. And it was a really nice uh, close up to these majestic, beautiful animals. They were like amazing guys. Like you should definitely uh, give yourself an opportunity to go there if you can. It's really, really worth the while and worth the money as well. Because when we booked it online, I'll click the link to the website below so you can check it out as well. And there's two different packages. You can either go for the monkey century package on its own or the elephant century on its own. But we did both because I just wanted to give the kids a full on experience of the outdoors and not go back and forth you know so there was more for me <laughs> than for them but it was amazing it was amazing and yes yeah, so basically what you what you go through is they take you through the elephant century where they have the elephants there and you get to have an experience with them meaning that you get to take walks feed them take pictures next to them and everything like that which is really really great same with the with the monkey century as well which is really nice because it's like a nice um up close experience of these like amazing creatures and what i also really enjoyed about the whole experience was that how the facility works you can just see that they really really do put the animals first they really do care for the animals and they treat them really well and there was a lot of respect for the animals that they had because there was no like aggression or anything that i felt like was weird when i was there i just thought you know everything that was going on was going on based on how the elephants or the animals felt if they felt that nope they're not up for doing this they wouldn't force it or anything for the sake of entertainment which i thought was really great and it seems like a very nice touristy place to go because i saw when we were there there's a lot of people that were there that were outside coming from outside of the country which is really great so tops up to the tourism department of SA you're bringing up some people up in our country which is really really amazing and also a little bit of fact about the century they've been around since 1999 you know so they've been around for a very very long time and they started off with I wrote this point down again they started off with like five elephants and they now have a total of 12 elephants amongst their two branches so they have a branch in Hartevius another one in Petenburg as well Petersburg Petersburg Bay okay <laughs> so they have branches in those areas so you can visit one of the two I think it's a really really great experience and it was so surprising how when I went and you know posted pictures about that on my social media it was like what where is this place it was so surprising how people how a lot of people in my circle didn't know about it so that's why I was like hey let me tell my world on YouTube about it because it's such an amazing place to visit it's a great place to go with kids it's a great place to go with family but the thing is you must just be ready to walk be ready please there's a lot of walking going on over there um because when we arrived honestly um we came with a stroller but the terrain there was not stroller happy because i we really booked for all four of us my husband and i and the two kids and I wasn't expecting Ziana to walk all the way or be carried all the way. So I thought the stroller would be a great idea. But the stroller happened to stay behind the, <laughs> stayed behind as one of the officers because I was like, I can't push this anyway. So we had to carry her. Um, so definitely a lot of walking, definitely a lot of 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 learning 
as well because they gave us a lot of fun facts about the animals so when you get there um, they basically give you a nice induction on how to interact with the animals what to look out for and how to handle your belongings as well because they are animals and they're very inquisitive and they're especially the monkeys and they're very like I had to get Barbakins from her nap did you wake or sleeping partially so yes so that was basically it so we have a duplex I have to run around So I have to go downstairs to the living room because that's where she was sleeping and then coming upstairs carrying this human heavy to help me catch my breath okay great so I was telling you that we basically um, got a booking for both the elephants and monkey century which was completely worth it because i think they gave us a whole run experience of the place and everything like that and you know like i said because we're walking a lot a lot a lot things i would recommend to pack or bring with when going to the elephant stage because i'm not somebody who goes out and about you know i'm not a hiking fanatic or anything like that so there was a lot of things that were unexpected that I wish I had a heads up on. So I'm going to give you the heads up if you're not that, if you like me, you know, so a heads up on what to pack, what to prepare and all that. Cool. So first thing on the list is comfortable, be comfortable comfortable clothing comfortable shoes because like i said there's a lot of walking and if you're taking both the elephants and monkey century i'll take our package on the monkey side they take you through a massive um uphill climb to see the top of the property the highest point of the century and to get up there you have to go up a couple of hills and a tiny little beautiful waterfall and then a couple of um uh, what do you call this bridges and stuff like that and it, it's it's like seriously like a really uphill climb for somebody who's very unfit like myself and that time baby didn't want to be held by anyone else so i was like <gasps> the whole way up so i come to i like, like thankfully i had comfortable shoes on i had my comfortable clothes on so i didn't stress that much but i saw other people who came in in like uh pumps and stuff like that and it's not a pumps type of place it's like sneakers or um yeah, like mainly sneakers or running shoes or something like that. So I had my uh, Tommies on, so those ones are kind of like soft and easy to walk about with. But yeah, sneakers, running shoes, those kind of shoes and the clothes, pants, definitely no skirts. Uh, because of the, the terrain of the place, you know, you might feel a little bit uncomfortable going up and down some of the areas. Um, but I think they actually put this in the, in the, in the disclaimer or... In the ticket when you buy it but just in case you miss it and then also it's time to be oh a backpack definitely have a backpack on especially if you are traveling with babies like i did i had her baby bag which was a sling bag big mistake because it was just too heavy to carry her and the bag together so i had to choose one and i choose baby of course and i had my small little handbag and then i had to put her things in the handbag like bottle um her water and she carried on her blankie and you can see she still had she still drinks formula so now and again some it was just rough to carry everything all together so i wished i had went with an actual backpack so i can just give um daddy the bag and then he carried most of it yeah. Mm -hmm. Princess is over there now. So in hindsight, thinking about it, I could have asked Daddy to carry the sling bag because um it would it would have been better, but I didn't think about it at the time because I assumed you were gonna just go somewhere close by and then come back and get the bag and then move on to the next stage of the trip of which wasn't the case so a backpack definitely is necessary and another thing also water bottled water and snacks 
okay reason being is they have a coffee shop in the premises but they don't have a restaurant or anything like that so unless you plan on going there like they have different time slots going there after breakfast um you will um be hungry because they start i think it's 10 o'clock nine o'clock and then 10 o'clock i can't remember correctly but the time slots are gapped by two hours i think and then because of that gap you if you come in a little bit earlier like we did we didn't we didn't have a big breakfast we just had like cereal and stuff and by the time we got there it was close to going towards lunch and we were hungry by the time we had to go through to the monkey climb and everything and they don't have a restaurant at the premises they only have a coffee shop of which sells water drinks and coffee of course and they don't have like food like sandwiches or snacks so if you're going with kitties like me i definitely recommend that you carry snacks because i carried her squishies and stuff like that but it wasn't sufficient for my son so he was like when can we eat i want mcdonald's and also the nearest restaurant is not that close to the actual facility so just to keep you guys sustained until you get to the next restaurant or a restaurant that you would actually enjoy eating from because after that we just had to pick anyone that was close and then eat from there and the food was actually good there by that restaurant but it wasn't something that we would have picked um considering the kids there was no play area we weren't relaxed half the time because we weren't aware we didn't know the area well we didn't um understand the restaurant well so we didn't we weren't comfortable you know having our kids play alone in the areas there so it's easier if you go to a restaurant that you know and that you're comfortable with and then you spend time to actually travel too so definitely pack snacks and drinks i would say just water juice and stuff like that um, might not be necessary because there is cool drink and juice there so you can just buy a can of coke or a can of sprites a can of soda whatever the case may be and then down it down with water later so definitely water and and maybe some crisps or some biltong something light and stuff to pack because you also don't want to pack too much <laughs> it's like travel light okay i know contrary to what i just said it's nice blah, 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 but travel as light as possible because of the amount of traveling that you're going to be doing or walking that you're going to be doing you don't want to have this heavy backpack on your bag filled with all this stuff like you don't need blankets you don't need um any picnic stuff just something very light to keep you like chair i would like the tiniest little changing clothes for baby the two or three nappies one pack of wipes and stuff like that so try to keep everything as minimal as possible but obviously necessary things that you're going to have to pack along but just keep it as minimal as possible because you want to keep make sure that you travel light right so with regards to the whole package and experience it doesn't when you book it it doesn't include a video our videography experience as well or if i can say videography package so you get that when you do the induction and in the induction they offer the opportunity to um take a video of you by the facility people and stuff like that which is really great we got it a little bit later than expected but i think they had my wrong email address so they didn't send it as immediately as they said they would we got it like like ages after we actually went there after i followed up to say hey where's my video that i paid for they're like oh sorry here we go and they were sent it quite immediately quite quickly but just bear in mind that that video is not just a video of you and your family it's a video of everyone else there so the guy just stands there with the video and then he sends you a video of everyone else that was there so if you want to have just some pictures and videos of your family i would so suggest that you take it with your own phone if possible but it the video was actually really nice because it actually had other snippets that i didn't actually could um that i don't have or could have gotten without them so it's quite nice that that's there but if you're not lazy to edit it's, a, it's perfect for you because I wasn't lazy to edit mine and I just took out everyone else's clips out of there and I put it in and I will show you the video right now so you can see what it looked like but yeah it's really really nice you will really enjoy the experience there and it's very tranquil it's beautiful it's quiet um and you feel like you're literally in another world like i was like i really in heart of this like really i feel like i was in some safari in kruger national park or something like that because it was really that beautiful and it's honestly something that i would definitely do again um i don't regret it at all it's such a great package it's such a great uh people there that work there the staff there was amazing the 
caregivers for the animals were also really amazing and very knowledgeable of everything there like all the questions that you asked they were able to answer which i thought was really great especially in the monkey um containment um enclosure in the monkey enclosure there was a lot of really nice questions that were asked by the other guys that were there and stuff like that and my son was extremely excited to see king julian <laughs> he was like that's king julian i'm like i know right and we were like having a ball I'm like oh it's king julian we took pictures next to him as well which was really really great and you'll see the stills now as well in the video but it was a really great experience so let's watch the video what amazing experience honestly couldn't wouldn't exchange it for anything else it was really great and if you guys have already been there because like i said most of the people in my circle um hadn't been but some have so it's nice to hear what your experience was and if you can share some snippets and pictures i'd really appreciate it as well and i'll share comments below in terms of what other experiences what other short lives what other hidden secret beautiful places are there in sa that i can visit with my family i'd really like to hear from you guys and i enjoy hearing from you guys awesome 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 like totally love hearing from you guys so please don't be shy comments send your love to your girl and love you guys thank you so much for watching and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet okay and the notification tab okay love you lots see you later peace and love Mwah.